today we are going to perform frequency modulation and demodulation now this is your frequency modulation and demodulation kit and this is your 18 volts adapter and this we need to connect to the kit and before that what is frequency modulation means the process of varying the frequency of a carrier signal in accordance with the instantaneous value of the modulating signal that is nothing but frequency modulation okay for that first we need to note down the modulating signal see here this is the modulating signal generator and we need to give the connections like this and this is the CRO we need to connect channel 1 to the modulating signal generator and after that switch on the kit This is the modulating signal. By varying the amplitude. See here this is the modulating signal. We can note down the amplitude and time period of this modulating signal. After that we need to connect again carrier signal. We need to check the carrier signal for that. We need to connect it to the second channel. And carrier signal is inbuilt in this FM modulator. Okay. See, this is the connection. We are giving this FM modulator connection to the channel 2. And in CRO, we need to give channel 2 mode by adjusting it and source also in channel 2 and we need to note down the amplitude and time period for this carrier signal which is inbuilt in the FM modulator ok for getting FM modulation output we need to give FM AF output to the FM modulator input And this is our FM modulation output. See here. And we need to connect first channel to the audio signal or modulating signal. <coughs> and put it in dual mode so that we can check modulating signal and FM modulation output simultaneously. This is the output of FM modulation and modulating signal generator. This is the modulating signal and this is the FM modulation output. As the amplitude of the modulating signal increases, frequency is high. As the amplitude of the modulating signal decreases, frequency is less. This is T maximum, this is T minimum. Number of clock cycles are less in T maximum. Uh, number of clock cycles are more in T minimum and for uh, noting down in graph for FM modulation we need to uh, vary this time per division and note down this uh, T minimum for one cycle T maximum for one cycle. Now connect the FM modulation output directly to the FM demodulator to the channel 2 ok and channel 1 is again in modulating signal generator we have input and output both are there and for that we need to give the connection FM modulation output to the FM demodulator input and connect this FM output to the FM demodulator input and check the demodulated signal in the CRO channel 2. This is your CRO channel 2 and this is the demodulated signal and this is our modulating signal. This is the input signal and this is our output signal. Okay. See here both are same in amplitude and phase. 
so we are getting the same input at the output see here this is the demodulation signal if we are not able to get this properly see here in fm demodulator some tuning knob is there by adjusting this tuning knob we can get this demodulated signal perfectly